Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Rides. Today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai vehicle. It could be any Hyundai such as Hyundai Sonata, Hyundai Elantra, Tucson, Santa Fe guys, Veloster, uh, Accent, whatever Hyundai you have guys. You have engine light that relates to having a bad oxygen sensor on bank one sensor too, also known as downstream oxygen sensor. You want to know where it's located, how to remove it, how to replace it, what tools to use, all that stuff guys will be covered today. We will also explain how we can test these sensors, so make sure you stand till the end, all that information will be shared with you guys. In addition, we will explain which computer we use for diagnostics, because many of you constantly guys lately ask me in the comment section below and we decided to share that information with you. So let's go ahead and start and explain how to do that now. If you guys need to buy any parts, tools, anything for your Hyundai guys, okay, we're going to share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can save you even more money and provide even more videos. Now, if you have a Hyundai, you want to check guys our second channel it's called electrical car repair life we're going to share so much helpful information about diagnostics engine codes and things like that there as well so definitely check it out so this specifically guys it's a 2013 hyundai it doesn't matter okay what hyundai you have it's about the same as long as you have a mostly three or four cylinder engine guys because uh, if you have a six cylinder engine you may have multiple uh, oxygen sensors for a uh, bank you may have bank one sensor two and bank two sensor two but for three cylinder engines the procedure is about the same usually on on the one side of your hyundai engine most of the times it's a front side you have the intake manifold the black plastic thing it's called intake manifold that's where the engine gets its air from and on the back side you have the exhaust which will be super hot guys so that exhaust okay we will be hot don't touch it guys let the car sit overnight and then work on it the first sensor okay that i move right here i got it loose so you can see where it is okay that sensor right there that's known as upstream oxygen sensor or bank one sensor one the purpose of that sensor is to detect how much air and fuel you have in the uh, exhaust manifold it's going to send that information to the engine computer which is usually located somewhere in the engine bay and it's going to okay uh, actually find out if the uh, if the mixture is good if it's not rich or lean and it can adjust all that so you have perfectly running engine not polluting and meeting emission standards so that okay oxygen sensor is super important but bank one sensor too guys is known as downstream oxygen sensor usually it's the second sensor it's not this one it's the one after this one and it's installed on the catalytic converter or right after the catalytic converter but before we get there let me explain something guys okay this okay computer right here that's what we use for diagnostics it works on almost any car you can think of we'll put the link in the description of the video below you can see it's amazing okay and is right here what we like about it you can access every computer system in your car and this Hyundai uh, itself guys being a 2013 model has 17 computers imagine how many the new ones have way more than that you can read codes delete codes and see live data for every computer system which is awesome now I will go underneath the vehicle guys next scene we're going underneath so bear with me I'm just going to get myself somehow underneath guys here we need to find that catalytic converter okay and that catalytic converter you have one oxygen sensor okay that's known as bank one sensor two that one right here so uh make sure it's on hold make sure you let the car sit overnight because it will be humongous heat here guys that can severely burn you so that sensor is known as downstream oxygen sensor it detects if the catalytic converter is doing its job and if it's cleaning the uh, the the uh, exhaust so you meet emission standards that's the sensor that's the sensor too that we use to remove it makes your wife super easier we'll put the link in the description of the video below so please check it out so you just go on top of the sensor okay just like that you're going to get your ratchet and those will be super tight guys at times they'll be so tight you have super hard time removing them so okay i'll just get it ah, okay it came loose this one did come loose okay now you cannot remove it guys you have to get it out of the holders you have holders that prevent it from touching the exhaust make sure that okay the exhaust okay the wire didn't touch the exhaust and melt it because that could be the reason for having the coats this is the connector here i'll disconnect it 
okay you can see I press in here pull it out and now I'm going to hold the cable at the same time spin the cable and the oxygen sensors and just take it off okay and this is guys the downstream oxygen sensor on a Hyundai vehicle that's how you guys remove it now putting that thing together it's practically in reverse order you took it apart if you want to see how to test it we have a special video that explains how to do that and it's on our channel how to find out if oxygen sensor is good or bad also if you need to buy one we'll put the link in the description of the video below thank you for watching and see you guys next time